smoke, don't you know you're letting all the junk flood in? I try to stop the flow, double clicking on the go, but it's no use, hey, I'm being consumed. Loading, 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 quickly reaching maximum capacity. Warning, 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 gonna short circuit my identity. Uh. Get up on your feet, tear down the walls. Get your glimpse of a hollow world. Snooping round, we'll get you nowhere. You're locked up in your mind. We're all trapped in the maze of relationships. Life goes on with or without you. I swim in the sea of the unconscious. I search for your heart, pursue my true self. Welcome back to the stream stream. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be going all and starting our first playthrough of Persona 4 Golden. I hope that is all right with you. How might you guys be? Okay, so we started this game earlier. There were technical difficulties in terms of the mods. I had to stop. I had to fix them. I had to test them. It was a whole ordeal. So we're going to be starting this all over again, which gives a chance for people who didn't get to check it out earlier the chance to check it out. So, I'm excited. I'm excited, excited. Nuggy! Oh my gosh, you changed your name to Nuggy. <laughs> I love it. It makes me so happy. How are you doing, Nugget the Squirrel Lord? How might you be? By the way, can I say, compared to Persona 3, which was all depression, death, angst, emo, this is like a tonal shift already. Like, look at this. <laughs> Like, I cried at the end of Persona 3, and I just started up this opening and saw this starting screen, and I was just like, oh, oh, it's going to be one of these games. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. <laughs> so I got my coffee. I got my energy. I am ready to start. Are you guys nugget? What do you think of the new uh, starting soon screen? And what do you think of the new interface? What do you think of this? What do you think? What, what, what do you think, Nugget? What do you think? <laughs> hold up a second, hold on. There is a horny cat in my house. <laughs> and she keeps trying to come into my bedroom for some reason. <laughs> so I have to keep the door closed. Uh, <laughs> and yes, you heard right. I did say horny cat. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> looks cool. Okay, cool. Horny cat. Yeah, no, no. Uh, a cat in heat. That isn't fixed. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. It's not my fault. Blame God. <laughs> Don't blame God. Well, actually, he can take it. If anybody can take your blaming, it, it, it would be God. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going into the live screen now. We're going to do display capture. And then we're going to start the game up. Hold on. I will be right back, guys. See you guys soon. I just realized I wasn't talking. Nugget! <laughs> is this like weird, like tonal whiplash compared to, um. Compared to three? Because this is, this is, uh. To me, this is interesting. <laughs> this is very interesting. Okay, we're gonna do new game. We're gonna do normal. This game is a work of fiction. No persons, groups, incidents, or terms appearing. Uh, yeah, okay. And then we're gonna probably get an anime game. Oh.
to the Velvet Room. Hello, Igor. How are you doing? Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. <laughs> instantly. This place exists between dream and reality. Instantly Not off of the bat. And matter. I wait for them to talk. Stop talking. Only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Instantly off the bat, the audio quality is light years above. Um, Persona 3. And, the, and you can instantly see the, like, the, the, the flare that's coming in in later Persona games at E5 and 3 re, Remaster coming into play. But we're going to do the canon name, which is Narukami. And then you. I see. Now, so let's disinterested. take a your future, shall we? Do you believe in fortune telling? Not really. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Power up, right? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Hey! The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon up, right? The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Hello. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Hello, Margaret. How are you? Oh, and I'm cutscene. Be right back. Oh, it's gonna be one of these types of games. Instantly boobs. to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is... <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey! What is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. arrive 
at the Yasogami Terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station, please go to the other side of the platform. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Ms. should Mike we Mino. go soon? Kind of yeah, it's just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... Hey, over here. Hello? Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Oh, Inaba. so are you. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. I... I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Wait. So... That makes him my uncle? Oh... Incest has never felt, sounded so good right about now. <laughs> That's so bad! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Okay, anyways, um... Wait, why is this not working? Hold on. Why? I'm just so sorry! Okay, anyways, hold on. Yeah, that, that wasn't working, so, um, here, here we go. Alright. It's nice to meet you. Huh. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? So you know what my privates look this like? I'm sorry, daughter. I'll shut up. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Hey, you drop this. God, I love punk girls. God, I love punk girls. God, I love punk girls. Sorry. I, I, cat's not the only thing that's horny right now, apparently. Um. <laughs> Thank you. Whatever. Don't I'm sus me, do Nugget. What's wrong? Don't sus me! I'm not being sus worthy. Leave me alone. Hush. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh huh. Hey, Jeppo, how you doing? It's in the back to your left. You know which way is left? 
The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Huh? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Ugh. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. What's wrong? You okay? Just felt a little lightheaded. Let's understand. Must head must pat. Must a long trip for you. Why, Why Nugget? Not take a little walk. Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. I'll wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? The shopping district is near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. Examine the blue butterfly to save your progress. Uh, definitely changing this. I do like that I can customize the difficulty like that. <laughs> I don't want, I, don't, I, I changed my mind. Must head pat the cute kid! Oh, it's you again! <sighs> Have we met before? Doggos be hungry. Hey, Dragon Lord, welcome back! Weren't you. What were you doing at the station? Station? Oh, that one time. Nothing. I just went. I don't have anywhere to go. The cute punk girl, a greege. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Something to do in the shopping district. It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more pro prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. It's only Juness that hadn't come to town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. Ah, and Persona Streamer, the new cons! How you doing? Welcome to the Stream Shram. It's nice to meet you. Hey, and hello, Broxen. How you doing? How you doing? Yes, I have been marathoning the Persona series. We just finished Persona 3 for the first time, and now this will be our first time going through Persona 4. Welcome to the Stream Shram. I, I, it says you're a first time chat. Are you new to the stream? Okay. Broxen, how you doing today? Hey, do you know where Sack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh great, especially at the I came from uh Tato, so yeah, new to this stream. Well welcome! Hold on a second. Hold up a second. We'll go over here. So, welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Shroom Shram. It's very nice to meet you. My name, in case you're unaware, is Sunak alone. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I focus on action games, fighting games, RPGs, a little bit of art, music, and voice acting! Mix it on the side. I'm a community-based streamer. I focus on my chat because what we do here is mainly Let's Plays! As in, let's play together because there is nothing more special than hanging out with friends. Today we're playing some Persona 4 Golden. I hope that's all right with you. You said you came from Tato? 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 
But have you played Persona 4? It's very nice to meet you. How did you come across me? How did you find me? But yeah, you came from Tato, so I'm not gonna ask that. So yeah, yeah, I, 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 I'm awkward. Leave me alone. <laughs> have you played Persona before? Are you familiar with the series? If so, what's your favorite title? I'm gonna go back to the live screen now. Yeah, I played all the Personas. Which one is your favorite? Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. Let me make you sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm gonna work. See ya. What? I was really looking forward to eating it. Did it as level five? Mm -hmm. I like this shop. It's very nice. It's good. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect the country life to be like. It is really- how many save files do I have? 16? Okay. So 16 days in a m before I have to restore it. reset. How you feeling? Ready to go back to the car? I'm ready. All right, let's hit the road then. Okay. Rod's profile is Persona 5 in my opinion. That's fair, that's fair. I loved Persona 5. There's a franchise about... Uh, there's a franchise... Frenchie staring at me from under my decks. Aww, doggo. Year. Can you imagine if we had a Persona game that lasted two years instead of a year? Or better yet, a Persona MMO! Let's do it! <laughs> Alright, let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Yep. Can you show me how rough it is, Daddy? I mean, what? Who said that? Me? What would I have? <laughs> Trepo, stop being horny! Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Thank you for your kindness. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Don't suss me, Trepo! Well, anyway, let's eat. Yeah, once we... Oh, who's calling at this hour? Once we clear Persona 4 cons, we'll be moving on to 5 Royal, and that's I'm looking forward to that. Dojima speaking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lufro, I just joined. The first thing I hear is Dojima being called Daddy. <laughs> Ivy! <laughs> Look! Listen, Lufro, I said it earlier and I said it again. Incest has never been so tipsy. <laughs> I'm usually not like this. <laughs> I am so sorry. Well, Lufro, welcome to the stream. Nojima's hot. He is. He's so hot. But okay, Lufro, I don't think I've seen you before. Is this your first time in the stream, by chance? Yeah, I see. So where is it? Well then, Lufro, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome to the stream stream. It's very nice to meet you. My name, in case you're unaware, is Sunar Kilo. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. My focus on action games, fighting games, RPGs, a little bit of art, music, and voice acting. <gasps> Thank you so much for the follow, Reno. Mixing on the side. I'm a community-based streamer. I focus on my chat because what we do here is mainly Let's Plays. 
and said, let's play together. Because there is nothing more special than hanging out with friends. Today we're playing some Forsona for Golden. I hope that is all right with you. How did you come across me? How did you find me? I want to hear all about you. Shh. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. We're, we're doing a Persona Marathon. We just cleared Persona 3 for the first time. We're doing 4, and then after we beat 4, we're going on to 5. So I'm excited, and I'm excited. I've never even touched this game before. I just downloaded some recommended mods that some friends recommend, uh, recommended to me. And that's about it. Other than that, this is going to be completely blind, aside from the typical, like, guide that... I was scrolling through Persona 4 category. Well, welcome. It's great to see you. Hopefully you can give me some insight because I am a Persona 4 newbie. <laughs> like, how hard is this compared to 3? Um, should I bump up the difficulty? Should I not? Um, this is a good one. Well, all Persona Personas have been good so far, to be fair. <laughs> like, I haven't uh -huh. played one that I just disliked. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. Can you imagine if a Persona 4 Golden got the Persona 3 re reload treatment and how Dojima would look in game with an updated character model? I might have... So if 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 this eventually gets that treatment, the stream might have to go muted and without my camera on for scientific reasons. <laughs> I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> there goes my monetization on YouTube. It's gone. Nanako, it's raining out. Obviously, it's for laundry? science. Yes, biology, but to be more precise. I already brought it in. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm off. Some would say some would suggest chemistry, but I'm more on the biological side. <laughs> breakdown of tomorrow's weather with storm clouds moving in from the west expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas also it's going to be interesting because i still hate that the internet uh, went for science reasons than for academic purposes right there <laughs> dream Nova! how you doing welcome to the stream tram how are you doing welcome 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 let's eat What does your dad do? He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. Oh, I'm about to be judged very hard by my chat, and I'm thirsting over a little girl's father, but, you know, who happens to be a cousin? <laughs> We're ignoring that. Moving on. How are you? My dad's a detective. Wait, what? <laughs> you don't want to know? <laughs> You'll understand when you see him! <laughs> And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. It's nothing to worry about. Light root, light. It's nothing to worry about, right, Lufro? Right? 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 Better be up here. Help me out. I, I need some help. I need someone to actually help me in this situation. My chat is no help whatsoever. They're abusive. They're mean. They're cruel. Help me. In response, <laughs> iTelevision has See? decided to cancel it's nothing to worry all about. <laughs> Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. I'm worried. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Can I say that sushi looks amazing? Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great. 
So far, so good. I'm excited. Aren't you going to eat? <laughs> the sushi looks. I'm freed from ants. Also, you guys don't see it. But man, 120 FPS is so good. Now, why wouldn't you want sushi? The moment I get paid, I'm going to walk down and get myself some sushi. You'll see him. You'll see him. Hello. No, I didn't. Where am I? Hello? This is... Hello? You can't go back. Ew. Hello? This is... Wait. I can move the camera! I couldn't do this in three. Is that... Yeah, I, I'm aware. That's a... Uh... What did you think of three? I loved three. Uh, I cried at the ending, though. I legitimately bawled my eyes out at the ending. That was beautiful. I... Is it, if it's true to your desire, come and find me. I, I'd rather not! You know, my therapist told me not to listen to the voices in my head. Although, I don't know why. It's not like I made, did anything wrong. The last time I listened to them, I was just... Covered in okay, we're not moving we're we're ignoring that. But otherwise, aside from that one moment, they did nothing wrong. Oh <laughs> Will you continue, yes. I'm concerned. I'm not So, you're the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. Ooh, look at that new UI. Guys, look at that new UI. Look at that in the corner. Okay, we'll do a normal attack. Hmm, <laughs> it seems that you can see a little, despite the fog. Check out skill. I have Zeo. <laughs> The portrait? Yeah. I see indeed. That is very interesting information. Joke, I believe? What? Are you okay? I'm fine. We'll do cleave. Ten damage. Okay. But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. If you say so, I am fine. <laughs> um, my defense is up. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Will we meet again? At a place other than here? Hmm. I look forward to it. A massive 10 damage nearly one shot the poor dude. Did he? Did it? D okay. Lufro? By the end of Persona 3, I managed to do 
13,000 damage in a single attack. Breakfast ready. I was one shotting bosses. The game lost all sense of challenge. My Izanagi, Messiah, and Halel combo were. They carried me. Oh, and um, Orpheus Picaro. Not Picaro. Um, Orpheus Talos? Yeah. Okay. Let's eat. Did your father go to work? There was some kind of trouble. You won't be back. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Yes, my sweet child, let us go. For I will be your father one day as well. There you go. Yep, Dr uh, Nova, he's popping up. He'll see. Also, there is a mod that allows me to uh, romance romance Yosuke. From here. My school's this way. Bye. Sinar, what? <laughs> you don't need to know, Dream Nova. It's fine. <laughs> don't worry about it. But <laughs> yeah, there's a mod that re allows you to romance Yosuke. Soon enough. Talk about really? bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moroka, isn't it? Yep. I I know that. That's why I reinstated the Yosuke romance. Because I, I have a very sneaking suspicion that Yosuke was the canon love interest in this game before they scrapped it. Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Just like... So everyone calls this protagonist Chad Narukami. I'm wondering why. Because literally Minato slept with every single female character in the game. Okay, just making sure. Also, I heard that this character got recast in the golden version and she added a, a different voice actress in the original. Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um... I don't want to talk about it. So what do you th what is the common consensus of the new voice actress? What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps. What is this mouth? Sir, have you heard of the dentist? I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. <laughs> first things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. He looks like that n stereotypical nerdy kid that was made fun of and then grew up to be a super villain. <laughs> Dr. Toothache! <laughs> Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. 
This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere <laughs> like yesterday's garbage. <laughs> and he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. Did he just spend my own introduction insulting me? You calling me a loser? That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. Okay. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. I have never seen that dragon, uh, uh, dragon lord. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. My, 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 my place? Does he mean my space? Lord, I'm old. Lord, I'm old. Uh, not in here. You can post them in the Discord if you like. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Weren't you the one keeping me up there? He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Will I be able to fit in? <laughs> the Frenchie just made a weird uh, noise. The what? Frenchie? Oh my gosh. Please keep racism out of my chat. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Oh, French Bulldog. Never mind. <laughs> Attention all teachers, please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave I didn't know, I'm dumb, sorry. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Same. Did something happen? Don't, ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. <sighs> oh yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are That's... you serious? Okay. Hey, Yukiko-san, mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry. Rainy nights? Aw, uh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. 
Attention all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Whoa, whoa. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Nova, you still there? You're about to see him. Sojima, come pick me up. Oh, yes, hey, pick me up, are Daddy. You by yourself? I mean, what? Who said that? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. <laughs> you know, I sit next to you, right? Uh, you do? Dude, I was sitting right next to you. I even talked to you. <laughs> Anyways. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Wait, what in the world said our... Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just... Amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Wait, what? What was an see accident? Ya. Thanks. Why is Stop he right there? What did you do to my DVD? Ah! What the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. Oh, my trust. <laughs> I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the net. <laughs> this is what we call we in the business who like Christmas and stage plays. This is what we call the nutcracker. <laughs> uh, are you all right? <sighs> oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Yep, knew that. I love that twice now he was in a lot of pain and we just ignore him. Pac-Man ate his power pellets? What? You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? Why does this man creep me out? What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? No... Uh that's insulting to Porcelain Doll's dream. Let's try to keep the hate talk down. <laughs> I can keep a straight face. Uh, so are, are you coming or not? Wow, rude. I, I'm not going. Fine. What, what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Bruh, right? Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. No, I was joking, Nova. It was a joke. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Fun fact about Japanese culture, somebody is saying someone's first name, um is incredibly insulting and it's only done, done to those who are incredibly familiar. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're 
here just curious is all. Um, uh, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's... just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn! It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? <laughs> Whoa! Are you blushing? <laughs> Come on, don't start this again. <laughs> she's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Is she trying to pimp out her best friend? Come on, stop it. You shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. I agree. Go queen. Jeez, GA. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? <laughs> So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow! Who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Wanted to... A person died! Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait. What did she just say? A dead body? <gasps> Daddy. Hey, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Looking for you, sir. I'm lost and I don't know my way home. Care to take me back to your place? <laughs> Something happen? Well, you could say that. Look at him! That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. So he's a detective, right? He's a detective, right? Does that mean he's got some handcuffs in his house? <laughs> but you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Mm, I'm not really the straight kind of guy. I'm so worried. <laughs> Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> Go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Don't bonk me! Was this what that announcement was about? 
What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. <laughs> but why? <laughs> All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. That's really cool. That's really cool. I was just giggling and shaking my head. What do you mean? Why? I don't know what you're talking about. I am a perfectly innocent. This is a perfectly innocent, wholesome Christian stream. <laughs> this is totally wholesome and Christian. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Aww. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. <laughs> my, in my arms. <laughs> this is true, you can watch the whole family. Agreed! And if you see any white stuff on the screen, that's... Milk. Um. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. No reason to cry over it. It's fine. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local <laughs> television station. Wait, what? The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... So, Nova, we don't talk to Adele about this, okay? It's just between you and me, right? Just, just, just the two of us. <laughs> The Inaba Police Department, that's where Dad works. <sighs> It'll be all right. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Uh, Lufro, how, old, how long would you say this game is? Would you say it's longer than three? Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. They found her on the roof? That's scary. Super spoopy, yes. Oh, it's Juness. Her personal, her tone shifted so fast. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. She's so precious. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys decide here. What do we say? Which one do we sing? What do you guys think? What should we say? Third option, three. Three, okay. Yeah, it's unanimous. Every day is great at your Juness. You memorized it already? I'm the best one in my class. It's the law. <laughs> hey, Gringo, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the Shrim Shram. I really like that we can customize the difficulty, by the way.
Chris. I love the soundtrack in this game. Have you played this game, Waffles? Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure. Sure. Someone. Boy. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Is your bike okay? My bike? What about me? <laughs> Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. You might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. How did he get in the trash can? He crashed into it. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. No, I, 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 I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay, sir. I'm fine. <laughs> Quiet, you idiots! You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy! And since I'm so nice, I'll straight up straighten up you rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? <laughs> Did someone say trash can? <laughs> And I'll be going especially hard on you morons that are curious about murder. Got it? Now get your books out. So, are you getting used to this place? Not quite yet. Yeah, well, you just got here. I hate that teacher. Me too. <laughs> Me too. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain... something you can't get anywhere else. Something? The air's clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? What's the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like, that's anything special, huh? Sounds pretty good. There's no place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You we romancing Yosuke? Yes. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? <sighs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Mm. Oh well. We should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? I mean, I'm down for steak. Ah, oh, Juness Food Court. This I agree. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here! Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. <laughs> Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. 
She seems very soon today. Oh, he is so. F what? Why? He's so freaking hot. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and. Ooh. Uh. You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> Hey, it's Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. Is she just his girlfriend? <laughs> he wishes. Listen. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. <laughs> Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Why? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Your eyes are too far apart. Listen. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Hanachan? Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> yeah, he's annoying. <laughs> All right, break it up. You're kind of getting on my nerves. <laughs> well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. That was a short oh, break. Senpai? Can relate. <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. She cutie. Agreed. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. Ho oh, ho! The flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? Huh? You're supposed to look into a TV that switched off alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. Last time we had something to do with midnight, it did not turn out well. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. <laughs> all that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> wow. Jeez. You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. Trippo, have you played this game? Admittedly, guys, I might have to call it early. Um, we'll go to the first boss and then call it because I am very sleepy.
Did your father call? No. He always says he will. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. Been busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? There's miso soup there. I freaking love miso soup. Next. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house so in this good. isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Uh, an interview with a kid? Uh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. Mm. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. Nova, what do you think of this game so far? Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? I was asking what you think of this game so far. We'll be right back after these messages. Oh, so he's so cute. Look at him asleep. At Juness. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at, at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Pat. hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <laughs> Same, Dojima. Same. <laughs> Well, when I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Oops. Didn't mean to save there. Okay. Um... Okay. So, heading up. We're gonna check out the midnight hour. the The dad sleep has the dad sleep has taken him. I am not sussing. Chat, tell him I'm not sussing. Ooh, look at that outfit. Oh. I am thou. Thou art I. 
Thou art the one who opens the door. I mean, I know television can suck you in, but this is too literal. Ah! Are you okay? Oh. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, did I wake you up? I heard a really loud noise. Well, good night. The fourteenth. Sorry. <laughs> I did have my own umbrella, but I saw this kung fu movie where they use an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves. And I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the move. By the way, did you see it? See what? You know, the thing we were talking about yesterday, the Midnight Channel. Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. Soul adjacent ritual. What? Uh, um. Oh, uh. I, I kind of. It, it's kind of awkward to bring this up now, but. We're pretty close here. Um, just go ahead and run the rest. I'll run the rest of the way. You'll catch cold. Oh, right. Good point. If I catch cold, I could spread that and that'd suck for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'll keep going with you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Drippo, you haven't played this game, have you? What? Why are you sussing me? What is she wearing? Hello, everyone. My name is Kimiko Sofue, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. What is this, a dating? Uh, a date? In fact, world history is magnificent as romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profanity of history together. <laughs> And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. A transfer sergeant, Mr. Narakami, please stand up. The Western calendar is based on Ono Dono Domini, the tradition believed the year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? 1 BC. You seem to understand this well. If you think the history is like math, 0 AD would be the natural assumption. But world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there's no concept of 0 as a number. That's why, when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history.
What's up with the body being hung upside down? That's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y Yo. Um. It's, a. Uh, it's not really that important, but, well, yesterday on TV, I, uh. Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai's supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see... it last... Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl! But... my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean... We have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? Yeah. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. At midnight as a teenager? I don't think so. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. <laughs> if it had been bigger... Oh! That reminds me! Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV! Oh yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. They still are! Wanna go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> in stock? Does he work at a store or own one? It's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Does he look at... Does he look... Does he work at Juness? Or own the place? Nope. Can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? Mm-mm. <clears throat> Well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. <laughs> what? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! <laughs> I like Chie. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a... Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... 
Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? I, is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Uh, I, I don't know. Seems very spacious in here. What do you mean spacious? <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. Excuse me. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. No. Shit! Customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. What are we gonna do? This is amazing. I love it. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa! Right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Are we ro we are romancing this man? Yes. So, uh, we're still alive. Are you guys okay? I think my butt's cracked now. <laughs> uh, of course it is. <laughs> Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. Caught some poor P for the. Uh, so far, so you? good, Adele. How you doing? Can we get a shout out for Adele, please, and thank you? All this fog, or is it smoke? Also, Adele, help me out here. Dojima is daddy. I mean, daddy, right? <laughs> There's no place like this in Inaba. Is there? Hell no. <laughs> but man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Thank you for the shout out. Guys, if you had not Let's checked go. out Adele yet. Am I gonna he's... bounce? Oh, um, is this gonna send me up, 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 up? It is. We're gonna need to make a clip of this. He's a great friend of the stream. He's also incredibly fun to talk to. Super chill vibe, super down the earth, down to earth. Please go check him out if you have not done so already. Adele, how are you doing today? How might your day be? Also, how's God of War treating you? Let's look around. Huh? B but look. We need to get home and I love him. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? 
I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? We're doomed. <laughs> what? Don't say stuff like that. <laughs> I'm just going to be sarcastic this entire playthrough. Let's calm down and think about this. <laughs> All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. That's ominous. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, <laughs> but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but... Usually you avoid the red glowing black and black and red door. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. I am not sus. Daddy, I mean Dojima is um just very handsome. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? Why? It's a dead end. There's no exit. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Uh, I can't hold it any longer. My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants! You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Turn around! I can't go if everyone's watching! I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. <laughs> We're romancing this man. What's with this room? Ladies and gentlemen, the man we're romancing. Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. Ah. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew, we finally made it back here. Yeah, but I still think the dark, I, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how it goes, but I'm really excited to do this. Wait. What's that? There's something over there. Oh, God. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? A person I'm never putting in my party. That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? It talked! Well, what are you? You want to fight? D don't yell 
at me like that. Is this a dream? Is this a dream? Teddy is great. Dream? What are you talking about? I've always lived here. It's real. See? Teddy certainly is a choice. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? Oh, look at him! I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it! Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! Did I notice the floor? What about the floor? No, I didn't. Great and your tuna! Is this? Oh no, I didn't notice that. Did we make it back? Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Uh huh. Look over there. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. Why was a... Uh, wasn't she killed? She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean... That weird room we saw. Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. After school, evening. Hey, welcome home. <laughs> um, well, I doubt you'd know. Huh? But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? She wasn't at school today. Oh. I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. What? We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba, 
Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Amagi Inn. That's the inn that Yuko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Why? Uh, I see. Why? Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. And guys? With that? We're gonna pause it here. Unfortunately, guys, I am relatively tired. And I have to, I'm going to get some sleep, uh, get a nap before going to bed tonight and just kind of relax because my level of entertainment is going down as we speak. But, but, but I'm enjoying this and I'm excited to continue to continue this tomorrow. Does that sound good? We'll be continuing Persona 4 Golden tomorrow at noon mountain time. I hope you will be there to join me. Guys. Guys, shall we go give some love and appreciation to something? Actually, you know what? Our good friend Eventide is actually streaming Final Fantasy 16 right now. And I really want to see some of it. So, how about we give Eventide some love and appreciation? If you have my emotes, give him a spam him with some Sunar Hellwells. He's a good friend of the Shrim Shram. Also a professional VA. Um... Really cool guy, really chill, down to earth. Ah, look at those lovely ladies. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Guys, we'll be continuing some more Persona 4 Golden tomorrow at New Mountain Time. I hope to see you guys then. Thank you so much for popping in, Adele. I really do appreciate it. Until later, I will see you guys around. Bye.